Joyful, joyful, we adore thee. We are now doing measures 25 through 30, which may not sound like a lot, but we <laughs> got just a few things to look at here. Okay, so um, the previous section ended like this. Whoops, no it didn't. <laughs> Okay, so the previous section <laughs> ended like this. Okay, with a big retard on the end. So the next section is going is marked slower and legato. So it will be slower and very smooth. Okay, so let's do this. Probably do it a measure at a time, okay? Mm -hmm. What do you want to start with, right hand or left hand? Um. Left hand. Okay, good, it's easier. Okay, <laughs> so here, we were down here. So lowest D on the piano. Okay, so we are now going to move our hand up so that our pinky is on the G above where we just were. You hear that? Mm -hmm. So that is G2. Okay, we're just playing G octave with the D in the middle two of those then we're going to go to a d triad with the d in the middle so that second inversion oh you want fingerings don't you five two one also five two one on a d f sharp then we're going to a g triad with the g on the top b with five d with three G with the thumb. And is the way I'm doing this in the past is on the other videos, is that helpful to you or would you rather I do it a different way? That's fine, right? That's fine how it is. It works? Okay. Yeah. So easy peasy, but now we get to do the right hand. Okay. <laughs> so here here's the deal. Um the structure of the first four measures of this. Let me see if that's true. Okay, most of the time you're playing octaves on the outside, okay? So I'm just gonna play the melody. I'm just helping you understand the structure here, okay? Mm -hmm. So with the left hand, that part would be this. Okay? But, <laughs> We're going to do other stuff at the same time. So we've got 16th notes running under this. Wow. Okay, so the top, your pinky is doing that. Underneath it, you've got this. Whoops. Okay, but the effect is going to be that you're playing an octave and you have to do the three other 16ths. Okay. Wow. And I screwed that up. I'll do it again. <laughs> I haven't practiced this much. I want you to know I practiced it maybe 15 minutes just to figure out the fingering. What worked for me, I can't play it unless I do this, is to think of it as a chord. Okay, so I've got my B, my B. I mean, it's a G triad, right? But yeah. you've got Bs on the outside. One and five, and then you've got four on G, two on D, and of course, thumb on B. Can you picture that? So yep. that would be the blocked chord. And I wouldn't do that a whole lot, blocking it, but just so you're aware that that's the shape. So what I'm doing is my hand is loosely over those keys, and I'm just going squish. And then you, of course, know that you pop to the next one. Well, in this case, we're popping to the same one, but you've got to pop. Come over here and feel my hand. You feel what I'm doing? It's yeah. another impulse. Okay, so it's popping, but it's where we were. Mm -hmm. But if you don't do that, at least when I tried it, I got stuck and I couldn't play it again. Did you hear that? I just got stuck. I did it. Did, did that sound good to you? 
No. Because it feels, I hope it didn't sound good, it feels icky to me. I'm, I'm stuck. There. Do you hear how stuck I was and I couldn't get the Bs to sound again? So you've got to go squish, squish. And we're going to stop. We're going to stop the video right okay, now. Okay, so here's so that. continuing that first measure just to get the physical motion. So I'm going. Now. We're continuing the same concept that we've been doing, which is you play this and you pop to the next one. But I haven't told you where to pop yet. Okay, so we're doing B, B. Okay, so the next one we're doing is going to be C octave. So one, five, and then underneath that, you've got four on A, two on F sharp, thumb on C, of course. Can you visualize that? Yep. Okay. Do you hear that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what you have to practice then is popping from the B to the C. And I don't think it's any faster than this. That was horrible. There, okay, that worked. Okay, and you can't see what I just did, but what I just did was I already popped at the end of that to the next one. Whoops, it accidentally played. Okay, so now the next one is D, D, and within that you've got four on B, two on G, thumb, of course, on D. Okay, so then you have to practice popping from the C to the D. Oh, that was awesome. That worked really well. Okay, so then, so that is one measure. So that was one measure. Here's the one measure. And underneath that, kind of cool you get to see me practice because I actually haven't practiced this <laughs> other than fingering it so this is the actual process hey that was good all right that was measure 25 measure 26 something changes in the right hand we've had octaves okay measure 26 we're gonna play a seventh okay so we've got E with the thumb D with the fifth finger, and within that we're going to go four on C, two on G, and of course thumb on E. So that's going to go like this. Okay. And then we're going to pop from that to the next one. The next one we're back to an octave C. Okay. So we've got one on C, five on C. And does this make sense to you, the way I'm thinking about it? Yeah. Okay. Because I could do this. Thumb on C, two on E, three on G, five on C. But that's not how I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it as your initial octave, followed by the stuff beneath it or inside it. Does that make sense to you? Which yeah. makes more sense? The, uh... One with the octaves in the middle. It does. Okay. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure. Okay. So now we've got C, three on G, two on E, one on C. Now, something else that is different here for the first time, I'm using three rather than four. Okay. In the first measure, we were going five, four, five, four, five, four, five, four. Here we're going, oh, and then one more, five, four. And then five three, five three, and then back to five four. Okay, so let me outline this whole measure for you, starting with the seventh E D, C C, B B, A A. So only one of them is not an octave. Seventh octave, octave, octave. Okay, we already know the inside of the first two. Next we have octave B, three on F sharp, two on D, thumb on B. 
next one, and I'm popping by the way, I'm yeah. doing a very good job mm -hmm. popping to the next mm -hmm. position here. Next we have A to A. So A octaves, four on F sharp. This one feels a little awkward, but you've got to get your second finger down to C. And then A on the bottom. So at this point, I'd like you to turn off the video and try that a few times so you can feel the different feel of this. All right, now we're on measure 27. Oh, I should show you the left hand, sorry. Measure 26, left hand. Octave C. This is C2, okay? The, not the lowest one on the piano. Pop up to two on E, thumb on G. And you know how to do that. Play these C's by popping in this direction. Okay. And then you pop down to octave D. Then zigzag to D sharp. And you know what's coming next. Measure 26, hands together. Measure 27, right hand. G. G octaves, I should say. Four on E, two on B, thumb on G, of course. So there you have it. Do it again. Next, we pop upward to A in the pinky. Thumb, not an octave. Here's another seventh. So we're going to do B. So let's do that again. We're going to pop. We have to practice popping from a G, G octave. G octave up to A on the top, B on the bottom, so a seventh. Octave, seventh. Octave, seventh. Okay, what comes next? One, five, and then four on G, two on D, thumb on B. It sounds like this. Okay, after that, octave Bs. Okay, I'm going to give you a choice of, well, you always have a choice of fingering. Minor suggestions, if they don't work, come up with something else. For my hand, four works best. So, B octaves, four on G. If three feels better, use three. Two on E, thumb on B. Here's what it sounds like. And I've been careless about holding on to the top note, because I'll be pedaling it, but... We really should be. You hear that? Okay. Um, left hand. E, E, D, D. Okay, big moment. Hands together. Let's see if Measure we can do 27, it. Measure 27. Hands together. <laughs> okay, so that sounds really, really cool. Yeah, that's... And my hand is being resistant about playing a seventh there, so... I'm going to tell you right now, practice this popping a lot. Oops. I'm, I'm truly screwing this up. I'm not just clowning for you. There, okay. Okay, and I did not do a good job of popping off the seventh. And that was wrong. I'm gonna okay, I need to draw your attention to something on the fourth beat. Okay, fourth beat here. This is E minor. Mm -hmm. E minor seventh, actually. Seventh. Mm -hmm. Um you're gonna want to play a D there. It's not what it is. You gotta get the E in there. Right? Next measure, I'm going to start with the left hand. I need a break here. Okay, <laughs> so left hand, we're going to C sharp octaves, A, down to A, I should say, D, and then down. So 
here it is again. Okay, and what rapids are in store for the right hand? Okay, so. Okay, again, not an octave. C sharp in the thumb. B in the right, in the pinky. C sharp thumb. B pinky. And you're just going to start running down a scale now. Four on A. Three on G. Two on F sharp. One on E. Cross three over to play the D. Then we're going to do... And we'll have to check and make sure your hand can do this. Five and two on A and C sharp. And then another A. So I'm going to do that again. It's a little awkward. It's hard for me. It's not hard, it's awkward, and yeah. I'd have to practice this. So I want you to work on this part, and if you can find a better fingering, go for it and share it with me next time. You know, here's another way we could do it. You could go five, four, three, two, one, two, and then one and five, and pop your thumb down. That might be that, hard. That's, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. It's... it's and you can't pedal much if you're playing a scale because it'll blur together. Wow. Okay, this all has to do with where you start new impulses, okay? So I'm going squish, and then another squish here, and I gotta let go of the D, squish, catch this with my thumb. And we've got A octaves, four. I don't even need, you can hear what notes. I don't even need to say what notes, do I? I've been wasting time. A with five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. And yes, that is the C natural. Okay. Oh, you know, I wanted to stop on measure 28, actually, because this will probably be enough since you're traveling and there's a lot to work out. Mm -hmm. The next time we'll start in on all the hand crossings. That'll be the real rapids. Okay. Okay. Measure 28 with hands together, slowly so you can hear what's okay. going on. Okay. 